Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and it's all about Windows 10 ADK 1903. And it looks like Microsoft changed the installation with uh, the ADK 1903, which is weird. I don't know why, but hey, whatever. So, first things first, what you need to do is open up your favorite browser, uh, do a Google search or a Bing search or whatever search engine you like to use, and just type in Windows 10 ADK. Uh, typically, it's the first link. Make sure that the link is taking you to the Microsoft site, right? Uh, with the new page or for the new update, is three links that we need to get now. Back then, it used to be two. They separated Windows ADK as well as the Windows PE add-ons. They separated those two, right? Now, they're giving you an additional Windows System Image Manager 1903 update that you have to push out to make stuff work correctly. So there's actually three things that you need to do to get Windows ADK 1903 to work properly within your machine. Now, before you even upgrade your ADK within your SCCM or your MDT server, you have to uninstall the one that you have, right? And then reinstall the new one. First things first, uninstall the one that you have in, within your server, and then install the new ADK within your SCCM or MDT server. Now, I clicked on download Windows ADK for Windows 10 version 1903. It downloaded. I clicked on the second link, which is download the Windows PE add-ons for ADK, which is what we've done in the past. But this time, we have to click on a third link. Download the Windows System Image Manager WSIM 1903 update. Click on it, and bingo. Now, it's not an .exe file. It is a zip file with a, a batch file and a readme file and other things, which I'm going to show you guys what's inside that zip file. So I'm going to click on that little arrow, and I'm going to go show in folder. Now, the machine that I'm going to install, ADK1903, is a basic machine that I need to set it up for something. So I didn't really need to uninstall the previous ADK on it. So I found my ADK setup.exe file. I right-clicked on it ran it as an administrator, click yes on the user account control. It's gonna start loading up, hit next here. Uh, this is up to you, I clicked on no, clicked on next, accept the license and terms, and I left everything as the default and click install. And it takes, a, it takes a while, and once everything is done, boom, you get this, close it. Now the next thing that we need to do, like we've done in the past, right, when we upgrade our ADK, again, you have to uninstall the previous ADK on your server, before you install the new version, okay? Uh, we're gonna find our ADK Win PE setup file. We're going to right click on it and run it as an administrator. Click next here. Pick your poison. For me, I pick no. Click next. Accept the license and terms. And it's only one thing that's going to be installed. And it's a pretty big one, which is 5.7 gigs. Click install. And once everything is completed, you're going to get this. Nice, close. Now, like I said, there's an additional thing that we need to do with the Windows 10 ADK and is the zip file. So I'm going to right click on it. I have seven zip and I'm going to pick extract the files and click OK. And it's going to give me a win, uh, a WISM 1903 folder. We're going to double click on it. We actually have two EXE files, a text file and a batch file. Now, I'm going to right click on the batch file and I'm going to run it as administrator and I'm going to click yes for the user account control. And it's pretty fast, pretty slim. As you're probably saying to yourself, what just happened? So, if we open up that batch file, if you take a look at the scripting, it's basically copying uh, those two exe files inside the deployment tool. They're overwriting the one that the 1903, you know, installed for you and overwriting with the two that you need to update, which is weird, I don't know why. If you need more information, if you open up the readme text file, again, it breaks it down. It's updating those two exe files, right, that's inside that zip folder. Uh, if you feel like the batch file didn't work correctly for you, they do provide you X copy commands for you to manually do it. Uh, I did it both ways just to make sure it updated, but uh, that's it. Uh, that is how we install Windows 10 ADK version 1903 with a nice little twist that Microsoft pushed out with this version. First thing that we need to do is remove your previous ADK and then install and then update your WSIM.
weird, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.